Hello, my name's Rachel and today on Mini Crafts for Little Hands I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous colourful jellyfish with these lovely woolen tentacles. So the first thing we're going to do is gather together everything that we need. To start with you're going to want for its body a paper plate which has been cut in two and I've used a little pair of scissors to do this. Then to punch some holes in the body along the bottom to create room for the tentacles we're going to need a little hole punch like this. Then we're going to need some lovely colourful wool and that makes the tentacles. Then to make a nice colourful body I use some tissue paper and I've got this all ready here and what I've done with this tissue paper is I've torn it up into little pieces. Okay. Then to finish everything off we're going to need some two little eyes, nice little googly eyes. And to stick everything together, I've got this PVA glue here, which is a nice wet glue that will dry quite quickly. So let's get started. I'll start with the body here. And the first thing I want to do is punch little holes along the bottom. Roughly about seven to nine holes will be perfect. Start in the middle and then work your way out on either side. There you go, there's all the little holes in at the bottom. The next thing we want to do is to um, paint the body now with the wet PVA glue. A little tip for this is don't put it on too thick because it takes much longer to dry. Then you're ready to put your bits of tissue paper. So these are some that I had already ripped up. So they're just tiny little bits like this. And you can just stick it down, just let them drop on. Any sort of random order, but it becomes quite colourful. And it's lovely where the colours start to overlap because it creates new colours. And it begins to start to look a little bit like a stained glass window. Then you, when you've got them all stuck down, you can secure them with a tiny little bit more glue. But just make sure they're not going to go anywhere. Then you'll notice that the whole body is quite sticky and wet. And this is the ideal time for gluing in the eyes. So I'm just going to get my two little eyes here. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of each of them. And then stick them on. So there's the first one on. Just like that. And then the next one. And there you go. There's the top of the jellyfish. Now what we want to do is wait and let this completely dry before we put on any of our wool tentacles. Okay. So now this is completely dry, we're ready to add in our woolen tentacles. So what we want to do is to cut our wool. I've got this little bit pre-cut. Roughly the length you want is just the length of your arm, just like that. Anything longer and it would be too difficult to work with. So you want to take your piece of wool, and what I've done is I've added in another couple of colours in it to make it really nice and colourful. And you want to fold it in half, and you've got a little loop here at the top. And this can be a bit fiddly and a bit tricky, but bear with it, it's good. What you want to do is thread it through the back. This little loop is threading through the back, and we've pulled it all the way right up, like that. Now we're going to bend it down, and we're going to take the rest of that wool in and through that loop just like that and pull it through and then we're going to pull it in nice and tight and there you go that's your first of your tentacles done now you just have to fill in the rest so i'm just about to finish off my last woolen tentacle i've threaded the loop through and i'm just pushing the length of the thread through and then i'm just going to tighten it at the end there, just like that. And there you go. There's your jellyfish with all its woolen tentacles. I really hope you enjoy making it and we'd love to see some of your photos. Please share them with us on the Effie McWilliams social media channels. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, bye.